Hey there, Rational Shipper again. I kind of figured people would get sick of staring at my owl tapestry and hearing my dog's tap dance, and I'm actually just kind of free-flowing some thoughts right now. Previously, I kind of scripted what I was going to say, but what we're looking at right now with the current ratings in the show, the current viewership in the show, and the current wars in the fandom is not being able to reach the landmark that J2 wanted. And that's what's really the most heartbreaking about this, and part of why I really want to implore people to listen to the rational side of what I'm trying to present on my various videos. J2, J Square, whatever you want to call it, Jared and Jensen, have... They voiced they wanted to reach a 300-episode landmark, which requires at least partway into a season 14. Um, and they voiced that they want a, a the end. They don't want their show to fade into obscurity. And while we're greenlit through season 13, we have to be very careful on a show this old, this far out, with half the viewership it had at the end of season 11. And we need to stop screaming at each other. And that's really the point of this channel. So I do implore... hope that can come on video too loud. I do implore people to see past their specific stigma. Um, I have a friend who is very much an anti-shipper. To the point that he once said, and actually said very recently, that, you know, he would tune out if anything ever happened that would imply Destiel became a thing, because that would ruin the character. And we got into a brief discussion over why that was felt to be an aspect. And at first, it bantered back and forth, but when you present these conversations on a rational level... Don't scream queer bait. This isn't a matter of, you know, baiting specifically gay people. Show ratings happen in heterosexual couples all the time. Stop pushing this as an agenda. Stop pushing this as rights. I've covered in a video. I'm, I'm alternative lifestyle. This house is owned by two women who are very happy together. And I'm not pitching a fit as to represent me and no. Because that's not what the show was about. The show was never about Dean's romance. Dean's romance is highlighted in it. But that's not what it's about. It was originally about two brothers. And I'm going to be a very bad person. But I'm going to be human. Because this needs human discussion. Look at this. I'm awful. Now... The show started with two brothers, and over time, originally Castiel was cited as the third brother, and he became that, and has been cited as that on a few occasions. But in another video, I discussed the romantic framework that has been in effect, and we don't really need to cover that again. The point of it is, if you're just watching it for the romance, you have lost sight of what this show is about. I support it. I entirely support Destiel. But when you hold a rational conversation with even a fierce anti-shipper, they can actually kind of come grounded. We discussed um, Kripke talking about Dean originally being based off of uh, Dean Moriarty from On the Road, that Sal and Dean were Sam and Dean, which is why the Impala was ever referenced as being owned by Sal Moriarty. And... Uh, it was a subliminal aspect in the original sanitized publication of On the Road, which later re-released. The era it was um, put out in was very unwelcoming to some of what was going on in Dean's life. And it was actually a veiled autobiography on the part of the author, who was, in essence, Sal. Um, it was observation of him and his besties' adventures globally. And Dean Moriarty was a transitive 
vagrant, car-loving, skirt-chasing, alcoholic adventure, devil may care. Sound familiar? But the, uh, the long and short of it is that Dean Moriarty was in fact bisexual. And there's grit and gristle to the presentation. I actually highly suggest anyone that hasn't yet go check out On the Road. It's not as clear cut as the people who argue it pro shipping is. But when you look at the individuals that the characters were actually based after as an autobiography, um, Dean, or Neil, ended up in a 20-year on-again, off-again relationship with a character that ultimately boils down to in the book as Carla. And once we started discussing that, his entire viewpoint changed. He was like, I never realized that. Here, here's the discussion topics. I don't have to yell. I don't have to scream. I don't have to take clipped out images and highlights. I don't have to try to frame scenes to romantic music. We can discuss this on a production and author level. And then he actually started asking, well, how do the actors feel about it? Well, Misha, <laughs> Misha, I could spam you all day with Misha supporting it. Jensen a little bit less so, but we also discussed the why. Because as a fandom, people are constantly trying to pin him into questions that are more to validate their current sexuality as young, usually teenage, sexual experimentalists that want some kind of validation through fiction. And we need to stop that. We definitely need to stop this whole cockles thing. Because if you ever want Jensen to be openly comfortable beyond his... He, he has made comments. He's made side mentions of certain aspects of the relationship or the reasons or, you know, made jokes on panels, but the aggressive shippers are getting us shut down. And everyone needs to take a step back and go, is it really appropriate to be trying to pin and imply that these two actors are secretly having some sort of a you think that's going to help convince Jensen? You think that's going to make him open up? He's a very private personality type. He said so himself. Misha, no. Me hell, Misha's wife writes books about having threesomes. And of course it's not going to bother him. But stop writing Jensen. The harder you ride him the more he's going to wall off and the more difficult you're making it on everybody. What he does, let's even pretend for a minute. Just pretend that he has some secret affair going on. With you. That's not your business. And you wouldn't appreciate it either. These are human beings that have a pro uh, career as actors that need to be left the hell alone. rational conversation, rational discussion, understanding where our problems are. I'll end up addressing in multiple videos the problem that is Robert Singer as a producer. That pretty much is all of our problems on both sides of the fence, on any side of any fence. Address the actual problem. Stop insulting, accusing, attacking. Stay out of their personal lives. And discuss the show as it's meant to be discussed. Yes, there may be a romance in it. But remember why we all started watching. And realize that, as per another video, I'll probably link it in here. We're derailing it ourselves as shippers. We're straining this and we're making it worse and worse all around. And the anti-shippers. It's not just the shippers. You, you can read my, you know, watch my videos. So, enough freeform ranting. No script. My bad. Peace.